Hi Aquarius, I'm Pam the Lucky Mermaid, Psychic Seer and Modern Mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for January 2024. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign to get a more clear and complete picture of what's to come for you in January of 2024 and perhaps beyond because timing will be different for all of you in these general readings. Remember, sometimes your rising sign and your moon sign will resonate more for you than your sun sign. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, some months your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there. So you might want to check that out. This recording is for Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Rising, and Aquarius Moon. I'm using the Morgan Greer Tarot deck in this reading. All that being said, Aquarius, now on to your January 2024 Psychic Tarot reading. And the first card you have, Aquarius, is the King of Swords. This is an, sorry, Knight of Swords. This is an air sign person. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. So it very likely could be you, but it could be some other air sign that you know. You're getting ready to roll. You're getting ready to like get on the ball. You're like, you're not going to waste time. There's things you've got to get going, got to get cooking, got to get moving on. And you're going to be on top of stuff, paying bills, handling business, you know, taking care of like whatever, whatever handling business means to you. That could be in your family life, your professional life. It could be, you know, around the home. It could be with your kids. It could be bill paying, taxes, things of that nature. And you're going to be really keenly aware of seeing flaws and faults and ha figuring out how to fix them. Now, for some of you, this could be in a business you own, a website you manage or own. Your home could be around your home. Things that need, you know, that have flaws that need to be fixed. Maybe holes need to be spackled. Maybe uh, there's appliances or other things in your home that aren't working properly and you need to fix them or get new ones. This could also be even in your relationships and especially in yourself. So if you see flaws in yourself, which we all have flaws, they may stand out to you. And in January, you're like, you know what? I'm changing this flaw. Maybe you need to lose weight or maybe you need to have a better temperament or maybe you need to relax more. Whatever it is for you, Aquarius, because everybody's what needs to be fixed or dealt with or whatever is going to be different. Some of you, if you deal with the public through a business or a company you work for, could be a business you own, could be a company you work for, could be in some other way. If you belong to some type of club, group, organization, or church, you may be really very keen on putting out information. Now, how you get this information, it could be just stuff you know how to do. It could be your, from your own knowledge, your own wisdom, your own expertise. This could have to do with channeling information. If you're tapped into your spirit guides and you can hear their messages or you get visions or if it's coming from, uh, you know, deceased loved ones in the spirit world or if it's just things that you're coming to know, like important information, you're going to be sharing it with others. You're going to be putting it out there. This is something I see Aquarians doing in January of 2024. But Remember, timing is different for all of you. I say it at the beginning of the readings, and it's not something I just say. It is the truth because time, you don't all have the same birth chart. So some things I say now may have happened already last year. Some things I'm saying now are going to take a year to happen. Some of you will have it happening right now. That's what I hope 
but like I said, timing is different for all of you. The next card you have in your reading is the Page of Rods, and this is a fire sign person, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. This could be you if you have a rising sign or a moon sign that is a fire sign, or if you have any, you know, pages can be children, they can be adults that are immature or young at heart. So this could be one of your kids, possibly, or somebody else you know that's a fire sign. You may be looking into directing your life in a new and different way. So you could be thinking about, hmm, I want to change my career, or I want to change the schedule of when I work or how I do my business or what you're putting out there and when. And if you don't feel like you're having the time of your life, I hear the collective consciousness of Aquarius say, well, that has to change because, you know, what, what is life? To, life is to be lived and enjoyed, not to be in misery, right? Although that's difficult. A lot of us go through tough times. Times have been tough. But, you know, times have not, are not just tough for now, for the generations experiencing what's going on now in the world. Like my parents were in their teens uh, and young adulthood during World War II. Do you think they had it rough? Yeah. And when they were kids, they went through the depression and their parents were going through the depression. So every, you know, groupings of generations have tough times, but life should be enjoyed. And I see Aquarians going, am I having the time of my life? Am I enjoying my life? Well, if you don't feel like you are, then I feel Aquarians are going to make some pretty significant moves and shifts and changes in their life so that they can experience more joy. You may find that people around you are very picky and particular in January, and maybe even they already were, or they could be beyond January. Now, for some of you, if you have clients and customers, it could be clients and customers being picky. If you have bosses, supervisors, managers, parents, spouses, your kids, all of these people could be picky. But you, you may find that like you're you could be surrounded by a variety of people that are like they want everything just so or they could be particularly picky. Now, if this is your rising sign or your moon sign, you could be very picky in January. And figuring out your next move or your next step or getting your life on track or back on track in some way is indicated for some of you that have a rising sign or a moon sign. That's a fire sign. But that could also be somebody else in your life. That's a fire sign. That's like, I got to get my life back on track. Uh, you know, step up to the plate, make more things happen. That comes up here. So it's either happening to you or it's happening to a fire sign person you're connected to. And you're going to have to like harness your enthusiasm in some ways and pay attention to doing things at the right time. I highly recommend if you are somebody that believes in astrology to have a personal astrology chart done. I am not a professional astrologer. I believe in astrology. I like astrology. I think it's valuable information. So but I don't do it myself to do birth charts for people. I don't. Maybe someday I will, but I don't right now. But if you know a trusted astrologer, you might really want to find out this year, get a solar return chart to find out what is the best timing for you to institute certain changes and things you want to implement in the new year of 2024. So the next card in your reading, Aquarius, is the Hierophant or a Hierophant, however you like to pronounce it. And this is God giving you a blessing or a warning. It could also indicate higher education or higher learning. You could be the student. You could be the teacher. 
This card can also symbolize religion or spirituality. It's a high, po high priest or pope, or it could be God. You may feel like you need to let your hair down in some ways and really grow as a person in, in January and even in this whole new year. And a lot of things are really going to be up to you. This could be a big month or year of you having to make some big decisions. Valuable information is going to come to you from people people that are in positions of power, so you need to listen to them. So, <laughs> uh, that may be tough for some Aquarians. Yes, some Aquarians don't believe in the people in the positions of power and what they're saying. Some Aquarians think they're puppets. Some Aquarians don't think that they have the power that they pretend to have. And they're just, like I said, puppets are or mouthpieces for other agendas. So when I say positions of power, that can mean a lot of people. That could be your mayor of your town, the governor of your state, the president or leader of your country. I don't know who it's going to be. It could be other people in positions of power. I, I don't know for you specifically, but it's going to be important for you to listen to what they have to say, the messages that they bring. Now, you can use your own intuition and sift through, like, you know, what's that old saying, read between the lines? You may have to do that. You may be like, okay, I'm going to listen to this person of power, but I'm going to use my own uh, intuition and psychic filter and see what I feel is really going on here or what's being said. If you're one of the people that just doesn't believe whatever the position, people in position of power spout out. Some of you may believe in that right off the bat and you don't question it at all, but there's a lot of you that will question it. You may want to go on a vacation or a trip, but I'm going to tell you it might, might be dicey because travel could become sort of bumpy or difficult or unpredictable in January. I also feel you're going to be doing a lot of scrutinizing your accounts, the money that you're paying out and the money that you have coming in. So I just want to take a moment here to say, if you want to see what's going to come up for you in the new year of 2024, and you haven't gotten them yet, Aquarius, my psychic tarot readings for 2024, 10 card Celtic cross tarot spread readings for the new year for each sign of the Zodiac are available on Vimeo. That link is down below in the description box. And it's also in on my website at theluckymermaid.com on the videos page. Also, my psychic crystal readings for the new year of 2024 are also available for each sign of the zodiac. That link is down in the description below this video. And it's, those links are also on my website on the luckymermaid.com videos page. And you just click on whatever sign you want on that page under the heading that you want, and that link will take you to that video on Vimeo. Remember, when you purchase any of these Vimeo videos, if you think my readings resonate with you here on YouTube, you may find they resonate with you on Vimeo also. And when you buy these videos, you help support this channel. So I hope you'll decide to check them out. So now on to card number four in your reading, Aquarius, you have the Five of Rods. And the Five of Rods is an internal struggle going on inside of you. It could be a struggle with coworkers, family members, social, socially with friends. It could also be a struggle with any inside of any clubs, groups, or organizations you belong to. You may see a lot of people not getting along. And in some regards, it could be like people out in the world. Some of you, it could be locally. Some of you, it could be in your family. 
some of you could be at job at your job but many of you are going to see this happening out in the world there is going to be more arguments division uh people getting mad at other people's beliefs uh and reactions to things going on in the world so there's going to be a uh, consternation when this kicks up If you work at a company or a business where the owners or the managers or supervisors say, we can't give you a raise this year, or we can't give you a raise right now, and we don't know when we'll be able to, or they're amping up the amount of work they're requiring the employees to do, and the employees don't feel it's commensurate with what they're getting paid, there could be some uprising where people feel like they're not getting paid enough money. And for some of you, it could be at your jobs. For some of you, you may see this happening with um, like even tax refunds. Maybe people feel like they should be getting more, you know, in their tax returns than what they're getting. But it, it has to do, for many of you Aquarians, you're gonna see it has to do with people feeling like, like they're not making enough money or they didn't get a raise or a bonus or a commissions check or they're getting overworked and not paid the right amount of money for what they're doing. Some of you, there could be a family member that breaks confidence and tells a secret or tells a family secret or tells someone in the family secret and this could cause a big upheaval. I feel like you're going to hate how this is going and I don't feel you shying away from it. I feel you stepping in the mix of it and stirring up the pot. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you Aquarius if this issue rises up for you, whether it's the family secret getting exposed that causes an upheaval or, or a, fam a family member secret or happening at work where people feel like they're not getting paid enough money for whatever the reason, or some people just fighting with each other and not getting along based on their beliefs, their religious beliefs, their political beliefs, or any of that. And no matter how you slice it, I don't feel you're on the sidelines watching it uh, for many of you. I feel like you get involved in it. You have your say. You put your opinion out there and your feet make your feelings known. So the last card in your reading for January of 2024, Aquarius, you have the Fool. And the Fool is a card that symbolizes uh, starting out on a new path and a new journey with high hopes and high aspirations. And you have, you gotta be careful you don't have your head in the clouds and that you have your wits about you because you could fall off that cliff and you don't wanna do that. Some of you may feel like you're getting ready to get yourself a new place. And this could be, a, I feel for most of you, it's a new place to live, but it could be a new place to work, uh, or it could be a new place to have a business. But I feel for many of you, it's a new place to live. If you have anything that's in storage, whether it's in your basement, your attic, or you have a storage unit, I feel you're going to start taking stuff out of these places and starting to sell them. You may take some of these things to, you may donate some of these things, uh, give them away, donate them and sell them. Some of you may feel like you need to move on to get yourself in a better environment. Now, remember what I said about moving. Some of you may be living in a situation where, like, maybe you live with other family members and you don't own the house or the apartment or the condo or the townhome or whatever it is. But you are going to get out and go on your own and go find a place to live separate from them. So... It could be not that you're selling a house and buying another, although some of you may be doing that. This could involve you 
moving out of a living situation that you're in and going to move somewhere else, but you're not responsible for the sale of a house. You may be talking to some people that want you to come visit them. This could be a friend or a relative of yours that lives at a distance. And they may be encouraging you like, come on, come visit, you know, come see me, come stay for a little while. Some of you could be experiencing that from a friend or a relative. Uh, and, and you may consider living there for a little bit with them or it just may be a visit. You may find that you have to take a lot of things back to a store or ship things back. If you got any holiday gifts that don't make sense for you or you don't feel like you'll use them or if there was any kind of problems with them, you will be taking them back to stores, shipping them back to where they came from. Uh, this could also be anything you bought that had mechanical or moving parts or technology and that it was purchased in December or in this month of January, you may get it home or receive it as a gift and you find out it doesn't work. And you may, be, you may take it back based on it not working. So the best gemstone crystal I got for Aquarians to work with, use, and wear in the month of January of 2024, you got Lapis, and Lapis encourages self-awareness. It encourages you to speak your truth. Lapis reveals inner truth, and it stimulates objectivity and clarity. It also encourages creativity and inspires confidence. Lapis provides qualities of honesty, compassion, and morality. It's going to be a stone that's going to help you feel like fit as a fiddle, my guide said. So it, in some ways, if you're wearing this stone or meditating with it on your third eye chakra, your throat chakra, or your heart chakra, or carrying it or wearing it, like I said, I feel like it's actually going to make you physically feel better. You may feel like you have more energy, more vitality, and your health may just generally improve if you're wearing or working with lapis in January. It's going to help you heal emotionally, and it's going to give you a lot more clarity about what you've been through, what you're doing right now, and where you want to go. It's also going to be a very helpful stone for you, Aquarians, if there's any kind of stance you need to take, which did come up in your reading, uh, where you have to state your beliefs and state your opinion and state your feelings about things and state what you feel is right and what you feel is wrong. This is going to be a very helpful stone to give you the strength and the confidence and the bravery to do that. So I hope this reading was of help to you, and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like this video if you liked it, and share it with others if you feel it was worth sharing. And subscribe to this channel if you haven't. And hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And don't forget, I'm also on Rumble at the Lucky Mermaid LLC. It's all one word. That's my channel on Rumble. And you never know what's going to happen over here. So, you know, on YouTube, anything could happen. So you might want to follow me on Rumble. So if you would like to get any of this special video series I record for my Vimeo on demand pages where I look into very specific topics using a variety of divination tools to bring you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for those topics for each sign of the zodiac you can access the most recently recorded video series down below in the description box or you can go to my website at the luckymermaid.com videos page 
and there you can scroll through those pages and see all the video series I've recorded. You just click on whatever zodiac sign you want and that link will take you to that video on Vimeo. If you want to see what's happening for you in 2024, I have two video series for you. My most recently recorded one is my psychic crystal readings for the new year of 2024 for each sign of the zodiac. I looked into every area of life I could think of to look at, and I did these last year. They were very popular, so I did them again this year. So you might want to check those out. And don't forget my new year 2024 10 card psychic tarot, my 10 card Celtic cross psychic tarot readings for each sign of the zodiac are also available. If you got your sun, your moon, and your rising sign, you would have 30 cards of predictions and messages. If you want to get just one sign, go by what resonates for you usually here on YouTube or get your sun and your rising sign is what I really recommend. But do whatever you can to get those messages and predictions for this new year. Also, my two video series I did for the two eclipses that happened in October. You're still being affected by those eclipses. And if you haven't checked them out yet, you might want to. Eclipse effects usually last for six months. But when I recorded those videos, those predictions were going out nine months and even up to a year. So they were very powerful eclipses. The first one is, uh, was on, actually it's the second one, but it happened the most recent, is the full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus, October 28th, 2023 psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings, and also my new moon solar eclipse in Libra, October 14th, 2023, psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings. I use the same format in both. Many people comment on those and find that they are very accurate for them, so you might want to check those out. Also, my horseshoe tarot, seven card spread, psychic tarot readings, that's one year of predictions in seven cards for each sign of the Zodiac. I recorded them in August of 2023, and they go out until the end of August of 2024. Also, my career and finance psychic tarot and crystal readings for 12 to 18 months are available. I recorded them in April of 2023. Those predictions go out all the way until October of 2024. So that's a lot of predictions and messages still to come for your career and finances. And I do not think I'm going to do them anymore or I am changing the format at the very least. So if you like the old format, you may wa might want to get those to see what's coming up in your career and finance. If you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides channeled through me that you're not going to see here in a video format, you can follow me on my Facebook pages at my Facebook page at the Lucky Mermaid LLC and on my Instagram page at the Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgell. And I'm also highly active on X, formerly known as Twitter. And you can follow my, my tweets, I guess. Do you still call them tweets over there from my spirit guides messages at the Lucky Mermaid is my handle over there. And if you would like to donate to this channel and help support the readings I do here on YouTube or on Rumble, there is a donation link down below under all the videos series I have linked below. And that, pay, that uh, link for donations is connected to PayPal. Thank you. Thank you so much for all your donations. It's very kind. I do appreciate it. It does mean a lot. It does help a lot. So I hope you have an absolutely wonderful month of January 2024 and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.